हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज दुमका वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू मोर अबाउट फंक्शंस सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव लर्न व्हाट आर फंक्शंस हाउ टू डिफाइन अ फंक्शन हाउ टू कॉल अ फंक्शन एंड सो ऑन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वॉट वील बी डूइंग इज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू Uh, I'll be discussing with you the further future aspects of function or what we can do with the functions. So, in last case, you have seen that uh, only the function is returning only one value. Okay, but now what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, making a function which will be returning more than one value. Also, at the same time, I will be telling you that how to use doc string. What is doc string? Doc string is basically the explanation of that particular function. So, let us say. I want to build a calculator. Okay, so uh, let us define a function called, uh, and this function is taking two arguments a and b, and this is returning the sum um, that is a plus b, the difference that is a minus b, the product that is a times b and uh, the division that is a by b. Now you want some difference product and division to be displayed by this functions function once called. So what you can do is return s comma d comma p comma di. This will do what? This will return a tuple. So so now being do not uh, bother about it, we'll be tackling this in our later videos that what are tuples and how to uh, make them. So done. So this is complete. So now if you call your this function and pass two numbers that is two, four and two. So what this will return, this will return the sum that is six, the difference that is 2, the product 8 and the division that is 4 by 2 which is 2. Now if you want this in your future calculations, so how to use them? You say this, you write, uh, let us say this is sum, comma and then the difference, then the product and uh, then the division is equal to this. So done. So if you want this sum, you write this and this is 6. If you want the product, that is 8. If you want the division, that is 2. So what this will do is, as you all know, as you, as you just have seen that this will return a tuple in which the first, first uh, zero element of that tuple will be the sum. So I am assigning that to sum. Likewise, this is the first one will be then difference then the second one will be the product and the last one will be the division so in this way you can proceed now what is there in a function if somebody has built some function and you want to know what is there in the function what that function says so you write question mark so right now there is nothing written in this function. It is saying that no doc string. So doc string are always helpful for the users. So how, how they are written in this way. Three uh, inverted commas and then three inverted commas. This is what we write. This is, you can think it as a comment, but this is not exactly a comment. I will show you very soon. So how to write doc string this function is a calculator and what are the inputs inputs mean the arguments of this function what are the inputs numbers a and b what is the output of this particular function it will return the sum, the difference, the product and the 
division. So in this way, this works. So now if you write, so now the doc string has appeared. It is saying this is a calculator in which you have to supply two numbers a and b and the output of this function will be the sum of numbers, the difference of numbers, the product of numbers and the division of these numbers that is a by b. So in this way friends doc string works. So always uh, build this habit of writing doc string because that is very helpful to know uh, what this function is doing and at the same time how this function uh, or uh, what is the way in which you have to supply the numbers or the arguments. Likewise, if you want to know, so this is doing what? This is just showing you the doc string. That's it. Okay. But if you want to know that uh, what is there in the function, because if you look this very closely, then this is not telling you anything specific about the uh, uh, function that how the function is doing all uh, the things which was expected from it but if instead of writing if instead of writing single question mark if you write double question mark then this function this will return you everything whatever this function is doing so right now i'm not uh, my screen is not going up but you can see some part of the code snippet that is, this is defin define calcula uh, and then some difference and there's other thing also means uh, multiplication, division, everything. So in this way, you can write your doc string and at the same time, you can develop a function which is returning more than one output. Now, there is another thing which you should understand here and that is there is a different way, another way of writing a code, um, sorry, function. So here, what you can see is, in this particular function, there are lot many lines of code. Okay, that means lot many statements are there. But if you want to write a function in which there is a single uh, statement, then there is a function method, or I must say there is a, a procedure for that, and that is by using lambda. So let us say I want a function which will return me the square of numbers only. So I'll simply say lambda, then the argument which has to be passed to the function or you can think it as a independent variable, then you have to write the function. So that is, let us say x square. So I was initially saying what I was saying that the function should return the square of numbers. So if I call this function by saying 2, that is 4, 5. 25. So in this way, you can uh, write one liner functions using the lambda. So that's all uh, in terms of functions. Hope that you have learned something about functions and how to write them. So now it is correct time to dive into the thermodynamics and see how we can code uh, some of the mm, uh, laws of thermodynamics or how to plot some of the process uh, so cycles like Carnot, Otto, Diesel, Dual, Brayton, Lenoir, Atkinson, there are a lot many. So how to uh, program for those cycles and different laws of thermodynamics. So in this lecture till this point only, from the next lecture onwards, what I'll be doing is I will be directly applying the, uh, the uh, I will be applying the uh, knowledge of what we have learned so far in Python. Thank you very much for your uh, patience for watching this video and take very good care of yourself. Bye.